Red Lake College, Roy Public Community College in Southern Illinois. Um, I am the Executive Director of Administrative Services. Um, I do report directly to President Terry that you just met um, as his, his admin support um, and Human Resources also reports to me. Um, I'm the Associate Vice President for Institutional Outreach, so. And how many people use, use SIGN now? Institutionally, we have set up 55 people to be users of SIGN now. Now, as far as how many people the, you know, those documents flow through, I'm sure it's significantly more than that, but we have 55 users. Okay. Um, so what was sort of the situation when you were, when you were shopping around for an e-signature solution before you adopted SIGN now? What were some of the, the problems that you kept on encountering that was sort of making your life difficult? I think although it was something that we probably had talked about to some degree at different times, it was definitely COVID that led us to finally um, seriously do something about it. When everybody had to go home, you still had documentation that you had to, to get signed and, and sealed and delivered. Uh, and it was hard to do that if you couldn't, couldn't physically shovel it around. We had forms that required signatures that lived in so many different places, uh, you know, like whether it was contracts or, you know, registration forms or evaluations or whatever. And sometimes it was hard to know where to go to get what. What would you say your, your average signature document workflow looks like? Is it with? I can pull up our, just our usage numbers. I'd say a, a strong, heavy user of it is uh, student services it's been used a lot to help our students. So financial aid uses it to get all their documents out for financial aid, um, mm -hmm. student records uses it. Um, we've used it in-house for grant documents that we had to route. Human resources has used it for some things. Um, but definitely, you know, although it wasn't as much about us being able to keep our things going internally as it was about keeping our students going. Like, how do we get them to sign that, you know, the paperwork to get their FAFSA put in and things like that? Yeah, we, we took a heavy shift toward virtual student advisement out of necessity. We had to. And they still have to sign their schedules and statements and all that stuff. So sign now is a big part of helping us get all that. Um, are you noticing any, you know, improved turnaround time? I'm sure you are. Yes. And I, I don't know how to give you any specific data on that but a lot of times with internally with documents it's the same day like terry was kind of being silly but he you know he can literally approve something that minute um i for one don't get much paper at all in the mail anymore internally for something to be signed it all goes through sign now it um that's been a huge bonus and on the student side as well i think i've heard some of the ladies in financial aid say that their percentage of return on documents they send out has improved as well, getting students to sign in all the places they need to sign for financial aid. How else has a pandemic changed your, your, your mind about digital transformation in general? Like, why, why, did it, why do you think it took the, you know, a pandemic to make you uh, finally digitize this, this type of thing? Or is there something else you wanna digitize later? Or do you need another pandemic to set in for that? Um, you know, you know what I mean? Like what, what, why did uh, it take so long to digitize? I, I do think that the, the pandemic forced not only us, but a lot of other places to take a couple of giant technological leaps forward. Um, I think maybe there was a sense of security before, you know, we had been looking at a digital signature solution ahead of COVID, but there was never any pressure because, you know, we could always do it the way we had, had done it. Um, there was never any pressure to, to have to do it. I think one other thing that I, I forgot, obviously, was remote work. We did oh, not yeah, have a remote yeah. work policy. Is yeah. If you worked here, you had to show up. And we were just seeing some, uh, some data from our compatriots coming through today, at least in Illinois, about how many of their IT departments are able to work remotely now. And we're one of the few that are still keeping up with that, giving them the option of doing it. So there are some things we definitely don't want to lose out of all of this. Sign now being a big one. Sign now is a real big one. I mean, we made a conscious effort when we started coming back more face-to-face -face 
people were coming into the office one or two days a week and we were rotating when we were here and all of a sudden you start seeing mail show up paper in your box I'm like no Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's not where we're headed with this I know wasn't just to get us through a pandemic we're we're sticking with it it wasn't a hard sell but it was a it's hard to get out of your habits sometimes right right totally what was it like implementing it um were did you train people was it easy to train did people have any trouble with it what was your learning process of of getting up to speed with software like I think as soon as we decided as administration and Chad jump in if I'm getting off the rails here that sign now was the way we wanted to go or that I guess back up even from that we agreed that we were going to entertain an electronic signature so I took on the role of trying to set up some meetings with other, with competitors as well and look at them. And so we put together a little committee, ad hoc committee um, to be our sign, ended up being our sign now committee. But early on, it was to look at these other options. So that evolved into sign now being the solution that we chose. And then that team of people tweaked a little to hit the heavy hitters around campus and the people that would impact the most so that they were involved in the process from the get-go. So they were in it from the beginning with us and had input in how we set it up and how we, you know, got it pushed out to campus. Um, on the faculty side, um, we had a coworker that worked with us and has actually, I don't know if it's really called an integration when you talked about that earlier, but we use SharePoint mm-hmm. here for our intranet. And um, she implemented all fac- faculty was used to going out there and pulling down a form they needed and filling it out on paper and routing it. She implemented a process along with an, um, one of our guys in IT where our faculty goes out now and clicks a document and it prompts it to the right person who has signed now access and it flows the, every form through electronically. And I think they've managed to set up 15 to 20 of their faculty forms that way. Okay. So, so yeah. by having her involved in the beginning of the process was really vital for, you know, selling that to faculty. I had forgot about that, Kathy, that there was that sign now and SharePoint are playing together. Yeah, and that was a huge deal for them. It's something that I've never been able to get back to, but I have plans for implementing that in other areas of the campus as well. Um, so we got we brought them on board. We learned how to use it. We started diving into our own areas and starting to use it, got some systems going, and then we did some other trainings like in our in an in-service that we had with and then invited anyone that wanted to come and participate and learn about it there. And then as an end user, like Terry was saying, that part's so easy. The people on campus that just need to sign and don't need to kick anything off, that was a no-brainer. They love it. <laughs> so, And then we've got more to learn. I think I was just talking the other day to someone. We've got it down. We're using it. It's great. But I think there's so much more out there that it's capable of that I'd like to take a little time and dig into and improve things even more. Uh, as soon as we rolled it out, we had people that were, I mean, we had a couple of super users that were super excited. Um, I do know that I, I have heard from many, many people how much simpler life is with sign now. Um, it, it's all qualitative. I don't have any quantitative numbers to throw at you but uh but yes everybody's i mean they love it i think i keep going back to financial aid but they were so excited about it i don't know how to have that number to tell you how much faster they're getting their financial aid documents back for students than they were before but i know that it's significantly quicker i know they're having better results getting the parents to sign because there's so many forms that also need parents that they would have to track down or get before and now they don't. That's been one of the biggest places mm-hmm. I've heard about as well as um, like Chad said in um, advising, they were having to virtually advise and then how do you get that signature and that's just happening just even if they're meeting, they have students have the option to come back and meet face to face now. And even if they do, the advisors are still using sign now to have the students sign it right in front of them on their phone with sign now because they know they're going to get it back. Right. <laughs> so.